I'm going to show you a way to make your ukulele easier to play. I hear from a lot of my students that they have trouble getting all four of the strings down sufficiently when they're making chords and sometimes it, they're hurting their hands, straining their wrist and their forearm and then they feel like it's kind of taking the fun out of playing the ukulele. So what I'm going to show you here is a way you're going to release all that tension so you can relax and just enjoy playing. Your strings have a lot of tension and when you press on the strings you're actually kind of fighting that. So we're going to release the tension a little bit, keep the ukulele in tune, and you're going to find out that it's a lot easier to play. Let me show you how this works by just starting with one string. Let's start with this high A string here. Now what I'm going to do is start detuning the string. I'm going to start twisting it lower and lower and you'll notice as you get lower, there's less tension on the string and it's easier to play. You don't have to fight against that tension so much. So this is what we're going to do with each one of our strings, but we're going to keep them in tune. As long as they're in tune with each other, we've got what we call relative pitch, mm -hmm. relative tuning. But everything is going to be brought down just a little bit, so it'll make it much easier to play and you'll be able to get all four of those strings down without straining your hand. Now, if you're used to tuning without a tuner, you can do this yourself easily. Just start lowering the pitch, get one string down a little bit lower and tune the rest of that one string. But most of us use tuners when we tune. So I'm going to show you how to use the tuner to get down so all the strings are in the same place. What we're going to do is lower it to the next note that the tuner can understand. So instead of playing this A here, your tuner says A, what we're going to do is lower it down to the next slot that it can come to that's called a G sharp. And writing it on your screen here, A becomes G sharp. And I'll do this for all of our notes as we go along. You'll find out that your tuner understands what you're trying to do. If you go in between, then your tuner is not going to know what's, what's happening and it's not going to help you. So we want to get it down to the next nearest place the tuner understands. And what it is, we're going down exactly one half a step. That's a musical term, half a step. A half a step is the same as a fret. So we go down from one fret to another. That's the concept, but of course we're not playing frets. We're just bringing this down the equivalent of one fret. I've got my ukulele sitting up on a tabletop here so I can demonstrate. I've got my tuner facing us and I'm going to start with the high A string. And you'll see the tuner shows green, showing that I'm in tune more or less with the A. And I'm going to start twisting down the A string until it gets to the next place that the tuner understands. Now you see it just up with a G sharp and that's what we're aiming for is that G sharp. Keep turning down. There it is. The G sharp is now green. So we've tuned that one string down to the nearest place that the tuner understands. Let's go on to the next string, the E string. The tuner says it's in tune with E. I'll start twisting it down. See what the tuner next understands. D sharp. Not in tune yet. Keep going down until it hits green. Okay, we got two of our strings in tune. G sharp and G sharp. Let's go to the C string. Same thing. I'm going to start just tuning it down until it comes to the next place. There's a B that just showed up. I'm going to look for the B in the green. So we've got that one tuned to the right place. Now to the G string. I use a low G on my ukulele, but it doesn't matter if you have high G or low G. Let's start going down. There the F sharp shows up, and we just want it to read green so we know it's in tune. Okay, so we've got the whole instrument tuned relative to itself, just slightly lower than normal tuning. And here's what it sounds like. Can you tell the difference? Well, if you play your ukulele and do the same thing I did, you'll really know the difference. But if you just listen to the sound, it sounds just like you expect it to sound. And all of your chords will sound just like you expect them, but it will be slightly lower. So this works great when you're playing by yourself. You're at home practicing, playing, singing by yourself. You've got the instrument relatively in tune with itself and your hand can relax and you can play longer and just enjoy without feeling like you're, you're having to work so hard. But when you get together with other players and they're tuned normally, it's not going to sound right. You have to tune back up to them so you can play together or get them to tune down to where you are. If you're just playing with one or two other people and that won't be too hard. 
but you've got to have that agreement to be have the tuning in the same place. Now I played guitar for many years and I've gotten very compulsive about my practice sometimes, practicing five, six, seven hours a day. And I would find that if I lowered my strings, I could work on all of my fundamentals and work on all my chord shapes and voicings and practice much longer when I kept the instrument tuned down like that. But then when I got together to play with a band or somebody else or performing, then I would bring it back up to pitch. Now, if you sing the same songs you're used to singing and you've got your instrument down a little bit, you're going to find you've just brought your pitch down and you're singing a little bit too. It'll put your vocal in a different place. You'll be singing slightly lower. And that might be a good thing. Just try it out and see what you think. A lot of times when you bring a song down a little bit, you'll find out you sing it a little bit differently and you're kind of singing it from a different place. And it might be a good thing and you might not like it. You just have to give it a try. So that's how it works. Give it a try and see how you like it and see if it doesn't bring some relief to your hand when you're sitting and playing for long periods of time. Now, it might be especially helpful for those of you that are working with my material where we're playing jazz standards and playing up here on the neck because we've got to use a lot of bar chords up here. You can get those strings pressed down more easily if you've got the instrument tuned down a little bit. Now, if you feel like you've done that and you still are getting discomfort in your hand and you're a little frustrated still, Bring it down even further. You can bring it down to the next notch that your ukulele tuner is going to understand. We call it bringing it down two half steps or two frets. Now the instrument's going to really sound lower at that point and the strings will be a lot looser. But if you want to try it, go ahead. There's no reason why not. And that's it for this lesson. I hope you found it informative and maybe even useful. See you next time.